it looks like it might be part of those roots. You're seeing that. I already dialed you to 550 so we had the cross here in the right spot because it'll actually move when I do that. But you were on 200. And the same thing when you're hunting. I mean, if, if you're shooting you're shooting the elk at 30 yards, it's just going to stay there. If he's farther away than 200 yards, you just range him and dial the distance. There's three, four. I know that target down there is 500. And 50 yards. There you go. You're good. Same thing you did dry firing, all the same thing. Just get on it, get your breathing comfortable, and just an easy squeeze. I'm gonna get in the spot and scope and watch. Okay. Are you on the um the diamond? The, the the biggest white diamond with the orange X in it? Yes. Okay. I'm watching that. Fire whenever you're ready. Perfect shot. You shot about four inches left and about an inch low okay. of the target. You're right there. I mean, you, it's smaller than an elk's head from where you're aiming, where you hit. Good shot. No kick. That's awesome. <laughs> there is no kick in it. My, my crossbow <laughs> kicks harder than that. <laughs> We're here at the range in Cody, Wyoming with Ashley Lundvall. Ashley is Miss Wheelchair USA. I have the pleasure to be here at the range shooting a Best of West rifle with her and using the Husqvarna scope. Ashley drew a really good elk tag and Best of West is going to go with her this year. We're going to film her hunt. How you doing Ashley? Doing great. It's a great rifle and no recoil at all so I'm really excited about using it. Yeah, we started out with a 223, which has no recoil in the Best of West platform. Um, all the Best of West rifles are built the same, same configuration. Obviously you can change colors and stock designs but the actual uh, the functionality of them is all identical so we started out with a 223 we're going to move her up to a 65 by 284 to shoot your elk but she was a little concerned about recoil mm -hmm. so we had to you know squelch those fears <laughs> she's fired a few rounds of the 223 here and no recoil you could have an egg between her shoulder and the, the butt of the rifle so we're doing good so far and she's shooting better than i am <laughs> all right we're going to swap these out Give you the 6.5 by 284, same stock design, same weight. It's gonna kick a little bit harder, but not much. Dial the scope, you can bolt the same way. So you got your safety right there, Ashley, when you get ready. You just push forward. We're ready if you are. We are. Yep. Okay, she's going hot. I'm on the diamond at 550. I'd hold right on it. That, that one won't drift as much as the wind. Did it kick? A little bit, but not too bad. Didn't bother you? We're winning now. That was all did I, I was worried it? about. That, yeah, you hit, it did exactly what I said. It could shoot a little low because the turret's different. You hit in the line at the bottom of the target. Left and right was perfect. So what, now, if you look at the target, put it right back on. Yeah, that's smart. Go ahead. Let's work that up. Put it back on the, the crosshair exactly where you were aiming, in the middle. And what I'm going to do is, hey, Doc. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the scope. Do you see the bullet impact? It's on the bottom, about an inch from the bottom of that target. Okay, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click this down. Tell me when I get even with it. Sorry. Too much? Yeah, one more click. Go back and click. There we go. Okay. Now you just zeroed that to there. Okay. I'm going to let you shoot another one to verify, but when we get it done, See, we know it's 550 yards, but we're dialed to 575 yards. I'm going to take off the retaining screw and reset your turret, and now you'll be zeroed for that. Okay. That's the beauty of the Husqvarna system. You can zero it anyway. Right. Cool. Good. Mm -hmm. Just make sure it chambers and goes in for you. Good job. She's learning how to do it. That is in the bullseye. Perfect in the X. 
you're right there. You're ready to go hunting. Let's go. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. It's a great rifle. We're going hunting. He's even bigger when he looks right at you. Yeah, that's, like, that's what I'm saying. So you know what his length is. We've already yeah. seen that. <laughs> and then when you see him look at you and you see his width, oh my goodness. <laughs> and it makes you all happy inside. I keep working. So we are up here at the ranch house having lunch and looked out the back patio and have spotted a very nice bull about 800 yards out. He's at least a 350. And now we just have to figure out how to get a little closer to him but he's pretty amazing. Eight hundred and thirty one yards. We've got a massive three hundred fifty class bull down there. There's a little knoll down here at 530. If we can get to that, we'd be about 300, 350 yards away. It's looking good. That's a pretty decent bull. You see a bull? Yep. Certainly worth getting closer to. We're thinking outside the box. Ashley's tough. A good place to shoot from is the most important thing. A good stable rest, you know. Okay. She can shoot six, seven hundred yards, man. Okay. That makes it tough. I don't think I've ever been with somebody that could shoot that good, so Let's that makes on. our job a lot easier. A lot of it is the rifle. The rifle is sure. go. I had a good teacher. You got a good guide right there. Yes, yeah. I had a good partner. Mm -hmm. And a good camera. Don't leave me though. Yeah, that one. Just please tell me that you're not going to stroke out over here. That looks like a bull. That's the bull. We need to get, we need to get, you know, you just bugle. Yeah. That bugle. Let's just stay against these tunipers. I am beyond excited. This is amazing. This is the most off-road, all terrain I've ever done before. So now we just gotta get set up and get a good shot. to shoot you can make that
We just made the most unique tracks across this ranch. No one's ever seen the two straight snake track wheelchair. We crossed, we made up about 700 yards, um, almost a half mile, rugged terrain. She's my new hero. She is tough. I just held on. <laughs> I didn't do it either. That's the most all terrain I've ever gotten on a mountain. Definitely. We get a patent on that. I think yeah. we need to apply for a patent for that. Yeah, with the rope and the lift and everything. It'd be awesome. We are thinking outside the box. It's good to have strong guys with you. He's small tined, but he's wide. And he looks like he's got mass. Just, uh, spotting, got spotting scope to tell you more about him. Let's get a better look at him. Get a spotting scope. thinking we're walking on faith. Ashley got here, it's her hunt, it's her bull, her tag, and she said she wants a bigger one. I have faith that there will be a bigger one. <laughs> we're all in. That was amazing. That's about as out in the middle of the country as I get, thanks to all these guys hauling me around. So, even though we didn't get a shot at something, that was still the coolest hunting experience I've ever had. <laughs> so, maybe we'll get into some bulls tomorrow morning. Walking on fate. We're gonna win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. are moving right. It's, it's not out of the question. We are looking at 150 head of elk. Means, yeah. There's eight or ten bulls in it. At least three of them are that 320 to 340 class. Yeah. One of them's really wide. We got another one right here at like 250, 300 yards. About yeah. to come check us out. He's about to come right up here and say hi. <laughs> but the other ones are definitely, we'd like to get them if we can. We just gotta get in the right spot. This is about as hardcore wheelchair hunting as you get, so I'm loving it. Very cool. Close and get one. You inspire me, girl. Oh, thanks. You guys are doing all the hard work hauling me all you. over. <laughs> Thank you. This is fun. It is fun. We're going to move. They're Try to get ahead of them a little bit. Yeah. They're moving down. The sun's coming up on the hills, putting sun on them. They're trying to drop down the shadows in the valley. We're going to try to move over here and get them, hopefully, before they bed down. Yep. Get one there. That's the plan. This is fun. This is awesome. <laughs> There's, then we need to come up with a new word for the
<laughs> What's the yardage on him? Range. Five forty. Five thirty-eight. Five thirty-five. There he comes, he's coming right back out of the junipers there. Yeah, I see him. Wait for him to stop. Um, okay. Got him. Okay. Got him. Beautiful. <laughs> Nailed him. You dropped him in his tracks. He oh, never nope. moved. To learn more about the products featured on today's show, visit us online at longrangestore.com or give us a call at 1-866-754-7618. To learn more about the Wyoming Disabled Hunters and how you can volunteer, please visit them online at wyomingdisabledhunters.org. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Whew. That was so worth it right there. <laughs> I didn't even feel the kick. That was amazing. You dropped him in his tracks. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Yes. And you could, I mean, it's like sitting here just staring at him. And I, I watched him go down. I've never done that before. I got to actually watch him go all the way down. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you, guys. Oh. <laughs> now I just want to, like, sleep for three days. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I never in a million years thought I'd get to hunt like this. I thought I'd always be in a blind in somebody's backyard. So to be able to do that is pretty amazing. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, the Nosler Acubon Long Range did its yes, job. Absolutely. That that sucker dropped. There's your. Look at that. There we go. I'm, yeah. I'm going to make a necklace out of that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I never shot. Thought I would shoot a bullet over 500 yards and drop it that easy. Yeah, I think I was like 535 or something. <sighs> And that's what we were sighting in with when we first started practicing. Yeah, that was the first shot you ever took. It was meant to be. Mm -hmm. Well, Ashley is not going to be present at the glory scene. Her husband, Russ, and I are going to go down to the elk, set it up. We're going to film it. Uh, it's a deep canyon, real steep. We can't get her down there. We're going to go check it out, see how big this bull is. Check this out. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ashley did good. Look at that. Very good for a first. First bull. First bull, yep. Nice. There. High shoulder shot. Ashley's a good shot. Dropped him in his tracks. Well, we made it to Ashley's elk. First elk, nice 6.545 yards. I know she wishes she was down here. We gotta get it up the hill to her, man. <laughs> yeah, she she wants to be down here, but we're gonna get it taken care of and get it back up where we can get it closer, so. But she did an awesome job, worked really hard, and um, she should be really proud of this one, so. It was a good good shot and good hunt, so. I'm proud of her, yep. proud of you, man. <laughs> No, she did a Proud good job. of everybody involved. That was team effort. Yep, it was great. So, thank you guys. Ashley Lundball, Miss Wheelchair USA, just made a great 540 yard shot. Good job, <laughs> girl. You. That was amazing. I never in a million years thought that I would be able to hunt out in somewhere like this and, and get one at that far of yardage. So, I'm really excited about it. Amazing. About the most fun I've ever had on a hunt. <laughs> Tell you the what, most fun I've ever had. If on I hunt. ever act like I'm cold or tired or it's too hard, <laughs> just slap me. Yeah. Girl, you have inspired me. <laughs> Thank you. You are tough. That was amazing. It yeah. was, I couldn't have done it without you guys. There's no way I could have held myself out here. So thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. We definitely want to thank John and Carolyn Alm who own Paint Rock Canyon Enterprises here at uh, the ranch, the Hyatt Ranch, for letting us come out and get this amazing bull. Thanks for watching the Best of the West, your long-range hunting authority.